let me explain what's happening. I have 23 videos submitted by you. I asked everyone to re record a video uh, to say, hey, this is what Japanese from Zero means to me. Now, obviously, Japanese from Zero has been amazing for me. This is a killer book. This book has been so amazing for me that without this book, I wouldn't be sitting here in this lovely office. That book made everything possible. Uh, but in the end, I meant to say this. This is what I meant to say. It's you guys that made it possible because if you weren't supporting the company by buying the book, and, and if you weren't watching the videos on YouTube, and if you weren't actively sending me messages, I get messages all the time. I just finally answered a bunch of them today on Facebook that I'd gotten about people who said the books have helped them. I do want to say, uh, I really love the positive words when they come from you guys. And I'm, there's going to be maybe, I don't know. I actually have no idea what's in these videos. They could be funny. They could be gushy, whatever. I might cry and I might not cry. And there might even be a troll or two, but I doubt it because Melanie, my trusted Melanie has already been through all of them and she ordered them. And by the way, she even wrote, uh, I'm going to tell you, cool videos submitters are highlighted in bold. So I don't know. I don't know if I should tell you if you're in bold or not. Because I mean, if you're not in bold, maybe she didn't think you were cool. This first one is from Sarisu. Sarisu. Here we go. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I am truly thankful. Uh, when I first started using your book series and a video series, my interest was already plenty high. But my interest kept skyrocketing and I just, I got to see this through now. I have to be fluent in Japanese. I've gotten as far as I have now that I can't let this go. And I'm truly thankful to you and to the Yes Japan team. Just from the bottom of my heart. Arigato gozaimashita. Thank you, Saris. Um, sorry, I was looking around the whole time because uh, I was just making sure everything was lined up, but... Uh... I heard your message loud and clear and it is it is messages like that that really give me energy and by the way i i don't know like i don't know how to say this without sounding weird i'm just gonna look we're gonna just be open today i'm gonna talk from the heart i might say some some things that are awkward but when someone sends a message it really only reaches me by like five percent and the only way that i understand what my value is is by hearing it from you um but even then I still don't see it. Do you understand? Like, I'm really very selfish. I make these videos because I like to make the videos. Uh, I I enjoy making them and I like the process of creation. So I make them. That's why I make them. I also like the sound of my own voice. I'm pretty narcissistic probably. Um, So th these messages mean a lot. And uh, I don't know. When I talk to most people, I don't know if they're a boy, a girl, black, white, brown, purple. I don't know where you're from. I don't know your, your life situation. The only thing I know, and the only thing that matters is that somehow I did something that helped you and it, it, it gives me a spark of joy to borrow from Kondo Marie. I feel like I'm saying too much just on this one video. Hey, do you work at NASA? Um, I noticed that your video had a NASA shirt on it. I'm jealous of your hair. And I'm jealous of those glasses because those are some sweet glasses. You're wearing like you're nailing the snow the the Snowden look. All right, now we're gonna look at now. I am by the way, I'm gonna mess up names, but this next one, this one is Abdullah Al Kala Al Khalifa. Abdullah Al Khalifa. <laughs> ボコノの日本語は この<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> These are lit. I'm loving these curtains. But man, thank you very much. You know, um, you're doing something 
that is really admirable and you're putting yourself out there speaking Japanese, if you don't put yourself out there to speak Japanese, a high chance you're not going to get good. So, uh, Abdullah, what you just did, thank you. Thank you for taking the effort to do it in Japanese. Now, that doesn't mean you have to do it in Japanese. I actually was not looking forward to looking at all of you guys speaking Japanese because, like, uh, I didn't want to, like, have to analyze them. Like, there was a bunch of uh, things he could have improved in there, but that's not what we're trying to do today, right? We're just trying to listen to what he said. If you'd like to see what he wrote, it's in his description. If you're very diligent, you can see the link. You can see the link right here. Here's the link. All right, next one is from, I think this is their username, Umol JV. All right, ooh, I like these horses in the background. You guys got some cool stuff in the background here. That is the second cross. Konnichiwa, JV Tomoshimasu. Japanese from zero taught me the language, but it also taught me that there is nothing easy in life. Learning a language is hard, but if I love it, then I will pursue it. Thank you, George, for teaching me that lesson. Short God bless from the Philippines. Short and sweet. Mahakita. Hey, uh, JV, uh, I've been to the Philippines. When I was 16, I was in the Philippines. I've told the story many, many times, so I won't say it again. But I lived there for a bit in a barrio uh, named Amsik. Amsik Barrio near uh, what used to be Clark Air Base. Uh, I think it's a couple hours or more from uh, Angeles City. Uh, I love the Philippines. And guess what? I'm planning a trip back to the Philippines. So do me a favor, hit me up in Discord because with my Adventures in Asia channel, uh, I'm going to be going to the Philippines. Why not? It's in Asia, right? Uh, and uh, it would be cool to you could show me somewhere cool. If you're willing to be in a video, that'd be awesome too. Pacifanavana. We're going to watch this video from Pacifanavana representing Russia. All right. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, it's Las Vegas. Hello, yeah, it's George. Oh, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for your videos. They gave me a great start for my uh, Japanese learning experience. And since I last watched your videos, I've moved to different sources. But I will always be grateful for your Euro Arrow Verbs explanation. Thank you very much. That helped a lot. That's very, uh, I like that you gave a very distinct reason. And also, I think it's great that you move on to other sources. One of the questions I get a lot is, what uh, should I do after Japanese from zero? And I never have the answer. Never. Just keep learning. Find another source that you like. Watch more Japanese TV. Make more Japanese friends. If there's another higher level book that you can find, get it. If you're into books. Uh, if you want to learn all in Japanese, try to uh, watch some Nihongo no Mori. There's a lot of really great sources on YouTube. And matter of fact, at that point, you could just be watching regular youtubers in, in japanese all right next one is from garrett irvin garrett irvin i like looking at the background of what's happening in your room for me personally the japanese from zero book series and the video series has been majorly influential in my pursuit and passion in languages and it's ultimately persuaded me to integrate languages within my future career and counseling and possibly therapy just helping people in general I hope to be able to be multilingual in order to help as many people as I can so and it all would not have started without the Japanese from zero book series or the video series so I love that so much that I had to get the uh, the no way the phrase the say no freaking way this now i am not a fan of tattoos but if you're gonna get one this is a good one now it's right here on the front of this book now i the, the kanji isn't on there for this top part this is like 1990 or 1996 revision or 2008 it says right here it's the very first print version that we ever ran that we sold this is chiri mo tsumoreba chiri mo tsumoreba I'll just read what it says right here. Piled up specks of dust become a mountain. This expression, chiri mo tsumore ba yamato naru, teaches the moral that little by little and bit by bit, one's persistent efforts will lead to an achievement of one end's goal. But really what it means is, every day if you make small additions to what you're doing, whether it be a word or a phrase or a grammar concept, over time, you will have a mountain. And no one can take it away from you. You could do so many things if you just realized that. And not try to bite off all these things that you can't do. Even specks of dust, when piled up, 
become a mountain. That is an amazing tattoo. Well done. Phrase the saying. No mistakes. Tattooed on me from the cover of the first book, so I oh, thank so you, you must so have had much that book. for all your hard work. Damn, Garrett. Damn, man. Thank you, thank you, man. Oh, by the way, here's a uh, here's a second book from that era. I don't think I have any book threes. This is from Gitum. G U T U H M. First of all, thank you guys for everything that you do, did, and continue to do. The first six months of me learning Japanese was me trying to find the right way to do it. And I, I just, I couldn't find it. Uh, I, I was dropping all this money on websites and different apps and programs and, and none of them just worked out for me. Six months into my learning, someone recommended me you guys on Reddit on the learn Japanese subreddit what and it was the greatest thing that I could have found I improved remarkably from that six months of trying to find how to learn what to do and trying to learn from the six months of when I discovered you guys and I started at book one and I just skyrocketed through probably the first two just because I I knew a lot of hiragana katakana and kanji going in where i started when i found you guys to the six months to up till now i've improved dramatically i just wanted to take my time out of the day to say thank you for everything that you've done like i said before and continue to do because the video series that corresponds with the book series is just such a lifesaver and i don't know if you guys know how much of an impact you have on a lot of us learners lives but i mean we we really do appreciate it and uh we thank you for everything that you do well unfortunately you know i you're right i i i, I it is hard to understand the impact people tell you it's the impact and i always think they're just aggrandizing it you know because they're meeting someone that they see on youtube like when i meet people in real life they for some reason like when you meet someone that you see on youtube you you put them in a higher level like, I'm the same way. Like when I even like channels that are smaller than mine, if there's a YouTuber that I that I watch in, all, enough of, I like I, I aggrandize who they are. Uh, and I think if I told them something like, "Man, you don't know what you mean to me," I would think that's probably true. I think it's hard to figure that out. Next guy is Jesse Murphy. The Japanese from Zero video series is honestly so essential to my enjoyment of the Japanese learning process. Um, George is such a great teacher. Everybody at From Zero uh, do such awesome work. Really, uh, I think the most important thing to me about the series is that it's fun. I think George does a really fantastic job of making things really enjoyable. Uh, he encourages you to make mistakes. He encourages you to use what you're learning. Um, the, the videos and the topics he does on Japanese Topics Mania and Ask a Teacher honestly are some of the most fun I've ever had learning anything in my life. Some of those Ask a Teachers have got me quite emotional and uh, motivated me so much. Um, I think that is really the key point to highlight here is how George sort of motivates you. He's not just giving you the information and saying learn it. He's saying here's the information, now go use it, have fun with it, uh, run with it, go talk to some people on Hello yes. Talk, uh, go talk to some random Japanese strangers, go visit Japan, do things you're not going to regret. Um, enjoy it, you know? Learning is supposed to be fun. Um, I think that's it, really. Thank you, George. Thank you, everybody at From Zero. Uh, I'm gonna go finish the rest of my walk. Dude, that's an awesome... That location where you're is amazing. Uh, I really like what you said. And I think I say it in the very first video of this series. You're not just learning a language when you start Japanese. You are changing your life. If you really get into Japanese, you can't undo. You can't undo what you're doing with when you, once you learn Japanese. The box is open and the world is open to you and you're going to you're going to get something out of it. If you stop, it, it will be a regret, but if you keep going and you use the languages that you're learning, not just Japanese, whatever language you learn, it just opens up a whole part of the world that no one can get. To have friends, for example, in a language, you know, once I started getting Korean friends that don't speak English, that experience enhanced it a lot. So that's why I always like to recommend make friends with Japanese people. And if you get good enough, you can make friends with Japanese people that don't speak English. 
and then you're gonna have an amazing experience. All right, now this one here is from Manga Android 4, and it does say here in the notes to start it at 2.32. I'm gonna look at just a little bit, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump it up if I need to, here we go. So I'm from Algeria. I'm a fourth year medical student. As you know, med students don't really have that much time to spare, but thanks to your video series, I, 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 it, it gave me a basis, it gave me my, a solid basis for Japanese. I can say with confidence that your videos made, gave me the, the solid foundation for my, for my Japanese knowledge. And if it weren't for them, how easy they were presented, how easy everything was laid out, how easy everything uh, was explained, I maybe wouldn't have been able to continue with my Japanese journey. So thank you, George. Uh, you, you, you are a really awesome teacher and your jokes are really on point. Oh, man. Um, I hope we continue to see more from you. And um, I hope you... I wish you success with your channel, with your career. It's already successful, but wish you even more success. And uh, thank you so much. Arigato, arigato gozaimasu. Um, Ooh, nice accent. And uh, hope to see more from you. Thank you, George. I mean, you're... I don't know what the language is in Algeria, but you're doing it in English, so I think your native language is not... Alexa, what's the native language of Algeria? Algeria's written languages are written Arabic and written Tamazight, Latin script. Uh, okay, cool. So obviously I don't think English is your uh, your native language. So that's very impressive. Your ceiling looks awesome. All right, let's move on. Next one is from Luna Dayton. Okay, I'm going to have to mute this. I I can't. I, I can't. Here. No music. I'm just going to read what you wrote. I used to be depressed. I wasn't accomplishing anything and adult life was getting me down. The only things that made me happy were my childhood memories and watching videos about life in Japan. Then I found your channel. You made it fun and easy. I was actually learning real Japanese. Learning a second language helped me with discipline and motivation, and now my life is going so much better. And the reason I started was because I had such a good teacher. Thank you very much, Luna. I appreciate it. I know a lot of times people are shy to be on camera and i don't uh i i understand if you didn't want to be on camera and i appreciate that you took the effort to make that thank you sorry i couldn't listen to the music uh i just don't want to get uh knocked off there for copyright infringement which has happened before next one is from aurora i haven't heard your voice i'm gonna say you're in europe hi this is a video in response to george trombley who requested that people send videos oh, I nailed it. talking about their experience with his japanese from zero video series about four years ago, I got really into language learning, dabbled in a lot of languages, didn't really make progress in many of them. One of the languages that I dabbled in very half-heartedly for a couple of years was Japanese, but it wasn't until March this year that I found the Japanese from Zero this video year. series, which really helped me actually make progress. I think the series is really well suited to my way of learning. I find it really engaging. George is very funny and it's easier to watch something if the person you're watching is entertaining. So as someone that's only been properly learning for properly, about three months and learning. therefore has so much credibility, I would really recommend this series. I bought books four Ooh, and five. Sweet. Oh, you got five! Which I hope to start using five within the next favorite. few months. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a bit too optimistic. No, that's I sort good. of bought them because the video series is free and I felt, what do I have to lose? I, I, I want to give money because the series has helped me a lot and I don't really have anything else to say. Just... Thank you for the videos and continued dedication to teaching Japanese. Oh, Aurora, that's sweet. Bye. Aurora, I went to London, uh, I think like three years ago. It was awesome. London's amazing. And uh, I'll say your English was very easy for me to understand. But when I first arrived at the airport, I don't know how you guys distinguish English. Like I know there's like Cockney and whatnot. But the lady that helped was trying to help me out. I could not understand her. But I love London. I've only been to London, but I loved it. Next one is, it says surprise. Wait, no, this is David. This is David uh, Etipaldi. Uh, David Etipaldi, that is probably the accent that you have with that the last name. Is a David Etipaldi. I'm guessing, that was a good guess, Italian. Oh, so far possible, very possible. Very possible that this is an Italian guy. Here we go. Probably not. Probably not, though. Because you could be Italian and be American Italian. 
Um, Hello George, oh. I'm Davide, I'm almost 19 years old and I'm Italian. I'm Nailed it! <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> I promise you, I have no information on the screen. <laughs> Hello George, I'm Davide, I'm almost 19 years old and I'm Italian. I've been studying Japanese for at least one year. You're a really fun and entertaining teacher to watch. Um, and for me, you're able to explain um, everything in detail and clearly. So much so that I can understand it even if my attention in that moment is low. I also like your Ask a Japanese, uh, Ask a Teacher um, video series. You know, that one I haven't done in a while, but I, I don't know if I like the name because yes, I'm a Japanese teacher, but I'm not a Japanese teacher. I'm American. I almost feel like I need to like play up on the, the American teaches Japanese. One white guy teaches Japanese. I might need to play up on that for a bit. Right now I consider you, you, I consider you as my online teacher of Japanese. I'm just really, really grateful for your efforts, your books. I appreciate that because, you know, um, there are people that I know they're using my system because they'll tell me, but they'll always say to other people, oh, I just studied by myself, studying, you know, I figured it all out. I figured it all out, man. I didn't like, no, I got no help at all. Like, I just like invented grammar rules for myself. When I'll be um, fluent in Japanese or when I'm satisfied with my level in Japanese, uh, you'll probably never be satisfied. Just point that out. I'm not satisfied with my own level. I started playing video games and I realized there's a bunch of words that I never use, but yet they're common enough to where I would learn like a list of video game words that I, not video game words, but words I learned in the video game. And then I watch TV and like, oh my God, like word after word after word. Like how, how did I not know these words are showing up all the time? It's because you don't know the words that you don't know. It's unless they come up super frequently, you never hear them. It just goes right by you. But once you start learning more words, even 30 years in, like me, you're like, holy gosh moly, uh, I am not as good as I thought I was. Uh, I, will, I, will, I will say to my friends, uh, hey, look, this is George. This is the teacher which helped me the most in my journey to Japanese, even though I started by myself. And she started by herself. Uh, um, because I'm just that grateful for your videos you. and everything that you made for us. Thanks a lot. Um, Dave, Davide, uh, do you know who Benny Benassi is? He's, I think he's Italian. It's the only Italian person I know besides you. Uh, but he's got amazing, um, like EDM style music. Check him out. Uh, I appreciate your video. Thank you. I was very happy that I figured out you were Italian. And your hair is fantastic. The girls are gonna love that hair in Japan. All right, now this next one says surprise. It's Antoine. Look, Antoine was in our Japanese, I'm, I'm actually very delighted to see this, but Antoine, he broke the rules and he submitted a video for the Japanese from zero beta classes. So when we were writing the book, I said, I need students to help me work out the grammar. I need to teach it and see how you guys react to it. Because that's how I wrote all the other books and it was a very, very good help for us. And I said, you have to have already bought and used and been through books one through four. He didn't have them. He still sent the video anywhere anyway. And I liked his attitude. And he said, I, I didn't go through all these, but I promise you I'll be good. I promise you. And he was. He's one of the best students. But here we go. Uh, looks like he has subtitles and he's got it all in Japanese. Let's see what's going to happen. Konnichiwa. Watashi no maya wa Antoine Michael Jackson to imasu. Watashi wa yumei na kashu no Michael Jackson no you de wanai. George san, 100 baa me video ga amegato gozaimasu. Honto ni kokoro kara ureshi desu. Ore toshite George san ni kono tokubetsu no video o sukurete agemasu. Kokoro kara George san no renshu jugyo o sankashite yokatta. ジョージさん、本当に心から受けてくださってありがとうございました。ジョージさんがジャパニーズフムゼロも唯一無二なことだと思います。私にはジョージさんが心を込めて日本語を教えると信じているので、本当に心からジャパニーズフムゼロを見
分かったな。ジョージさん、会いてよかった。ありがとうございます。Let me say something about Antoine here.、Um, first of all, that was really good.、Uh, were there like a million mistakes? Absolutely. But the, the Antoine factor that you all need to learn from what he just did was what he just did took a lot of effort. Now, Was everything understandable to a Japanese person? Probably they would have been able to figure it out. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. Right? But the reason why I let Antoine into a class where he broke all of the rules, I mean, literally, the goal of the class, I'm repeating myself, was to test book five. But this guy didn't even know what our series was. It's that level of Gambaru that Antoine has that I really, really love. Congrats. Matsuzaka. Okay, let's see. Not American. Hakufa Sonsaka. Let me say,、uh, I'm going to guess. South African. You ready? That's my guess. Hey, George. Congratulations on your 100th video. Not South African. That accent's not South African. Soon. And I wanted to say thank you for being my sensei for the past three years. Last year, I started to study Japanology at my university,、Japanology. where the language is one part of the studies. I could have skipped one semester thanks to you because my language was already advanced. I didn't skip it, but I just wanted to say thanks to you. I could have done this. Thank you so much for making the lessons inexpensive and sometimes even for free. And thank you for your time. You always take to teach us、Aww. something new. Congratulations. Thank you.、Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to creep out. Your time. Your, your eyes. What color、take. is that? What color is that? I've never seen eyes that are. I don't even know what color that is. Grazel? Bluezel. I don't know what color that is. That's crazy. That is... And is your hair that blonde? Did you dye it? I, these are just questions I have to know. If you talk to me somewhere, let me know. That hair is blonde. And what is your heritage? Because I was thinking South African, but I was obviously wrong.、Um, now, let me think about the content of what you said because I was focusing on the wrong thing. Yeah, I forgot what you said. What is. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I did that to you. I'm sorry, I made you. <laughs> so my wife looks at me and she's like, oh, could you not make me watch another one of your videos? No one likes to watch my videos, my wife especially. Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm not making fun of you. Hakufu, I'm not making fun of you. It's just a funny. I didn't skip it, but I just wanted to say thanks to you. I could have done this. That's funny though. Like, I never heard of the term. Wait, was that another? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not pausing there on purpose. All right, next one is from a m e t s the search. Uh, my name is Sergio. I am from Mexico.、Uh, I have been watching your series all along the quarantine, and it, it has been the best thing that has happened in this quarantine. I think it came to light me up、uh, wow. the mood and everything. In my country, I think that it is, as well as English, a great opportunity to go beyond the limits of what、uh, the Mexican can be. With these videos, you have taught me not only Japanese and grammar and everything, I think you have also taught me the value of. Knowledge it by itself, and it has really <clears throat> had an impact within my recent life. I think I have now、um, a purpose to not, I have something to spend my time on a night that, and that I know that will be productive. So, you are doing a great job within YouTube's edu educator community, and that is all. Thank you, Sergio. Thank you, man. I, I appreciate it.、Um... I would say a lot of good things weirdly, weirdly have, are going to come out of this quarantine thing. Sergio, the fact that you, you shared your quarantine, that I was able to somehow, George Trombley of the past was able to share some time with you and you found some value in it. I, I really appreciate it. It really makes these type of comments really make me happy that I did the series because I honestly didn't know what it was going to become. If you see me out and about, say hi. I'm not Eminem. You don't got to avoid me. Say hi. I enjoy it. Okay? And don't be surprised if I say, hey, let's go eat lunch. I'm that kind of guy. Don't be surprised if I don't say, let's go on. Sometimes people are weird. Sometimes I'm busy. All right, next one. Ooh, apparently I have to enable English subs for this one. This is called a tribute, a tribute to Japanese from Zero, a long journey. This is from Jose Maria 
Rodriguez Diaz. Ooh. Ooh, what's happening here? Ooh. なったね。なったね。最近の日々がそうだろうな。うん、そうだね。昔と全然違う。違うね。よく思い出す。生きがいのない俺はいつも迷っていて何もできなかった。重いね。そこで助けてくれたのは日本の存在そのものだった。でも
Konnichiwa! My name is Adele and I'm on lesson 7 of Japanese from Zero. Oh God, I really know. enjoy watching the funny videos and I think that the book is amazing. Japanese from Zero has created lots of possibilities for me, like being able to watch anime without the subtitles what? on or being able to understand Radvin songs. And it means that I might even wait, wait, wait. or being able to understand Radvin songs. Radwim! And it means that I might even be able to go to Japan one day and speak Japanese there. Learning Japanese from Japanese from Zero is my favorite thing to do. What? Arigatou gozaimasu, Jojo Sensei. Mata ato de. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That book, man. You destroyed that book. Hang on, let me look. Look at that. Look at the the usage. I bet there are tons of notes in this book. You are adorable, okay? I gotta look at your review of Japanese from Zero. I've never seen it. I don't remember you. Oh, this just went up. That's Normally, I catch these. Alright, here we go. Yokoso, welcome to Adele's Japanese journey. My you have like this permanent smile. It is so adorable. Like if people have been telling me I'm not happy in my videos recently, I just need to copy your smile. Amazing. I love your energy. Great job. Good job, Adele. I wish you were here live. It, it looks like you're not here right now. Alright, guys, moving on. Next, we're gonna another surprise one. This, who is the who could this guy be it's ginger okay ginger not a surprise i knew ginger was gonna have one coming the japanese from zero video series made learning really fun and i don't say that in like a super cliche way when they introduce hiragana katakana and kanji and they plug those characters into the text that appears in the video that helped me a whole lot with the reading comprehension, so much so that it helped me with my reading speed, which eventually helped me pass the JLPT N5. What? I completely thank this video series for me being able to finally pass that test. The video series is also very challenging. Um, I love that George keeps saying, you say it out loud, you gotta say it out loud. I'll wait, I'll drink my drink, I'll wait, say it out loud, you gotta have that muscle memory. And it challenges you to sit, sit alone in your room. And you know why I say that? Okay, I say that because I know in your head you're good. Everyone's good in their head. It's when you try to say yoroshiku onegaishimasu that you say yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku one gay she must. Yorosh one gay she must. Your brain has never said those things. You haven't built that equation in your head, so you've got to absolutely try it. Sometimes it's scary to learn a new concept, but with Japanese from Zero, I know that it's going to be fun, it's going to be challenging, and um, I I'm going to feel I'm going to feel a lot more confident with that grammar or that word or the pattern after I watch the video. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Ginger, I finally got to see. You have a did you have a review of the book uh, also? I feel like you did. Interesting. Your content is really good. And your editing is actually pretty decent. Gotta subscribe. Gotta click the bell. Oops, I almost put none. Gotta click the bell. Good job. Good job, Kira. Next one is Ricardo Cuevas. Hello, for everybody seeing this video. Uh, my name is Ricardo Cuevas. I'm 17 years old since today. Since today? Is it your birthday, Ricardo? Congrats. I have to thank to Japanese from Zero to, you know, let me educate myself Japanese for free, completely free. And that's what is Japanese from Zero to me. <laughs> it is like the, the free opportunity, the best opportunity to learn a new language, helping every single kid around the world that wants to learn Japanese. Oh, I never think about it that way. So, yeah, thank you very much. Hey, no problem, man. That's a cool shirt. You know. <laughs> that ending was so good. Oh, man. All right. Very, very nice. Ricardo. And next person is Fernando. Fernando Rivas. How you say mas? Joji-san. Japanese from zero, what it's been to me, I think. If I had to summarize it all, it would be that it's the one course that I've taken where I keep finding myself picking into the next class or the next lesson just because of how fun and... Interesting it is. Arigatou gozaimasu. Yeah, yeah, tondomunais. Thank you so much, Fernando. I appreciate that, man. Here we go. This guy is the most American name that we've had so far. 
Hey George, congratulations on episode 100, and mm -hmm. here's to many more. Fun note is, uh, I'm 561 as my user ID on the website. Your name was Tarku. I know you, Tarku. You used to be in the chat. We talked a lot. I remember you. You're user number 561. I mean, I'm user number two. I'm not even number one. And I'm actually the one that uh, during, I think it was your first call-in show you ever did. Yes! Uh, with uh, Keiko. Uh, I was the one that asked her to marry me. Hello? Hello! Who's this? Hi, this is John. Hey, John. Anyway, you have a question for Keiko? Yes, Keiko. Will you marry me? <laughs> Your answer, Keiko. I bet I, bet I know the answer. What? I'll explain it. Yeah, that's not going to be said. Not going to be said. That's not going to be said. see what you look like first, man. Yes! I knew I remembered you! Oh my god! Yes! That was hilarious. Thank you, man. That made it, like, that was like 2002 that we did that call-in show. That's ridiculous. Cringe worthy, but it was pretty funny. No, it was hilarious. Uh, so, um, so needless to say, I've been doing this for a long time. Holy hell. It's a long journey to climb to learn Japanese, but you make that journey easier. Um, I appreciate that. You job. make it fun. Uh, so thank you. Congratulations. And here's to hundreds and hundreds of more. John, uh, I, you're a part of my history. That call in show was so fun for me. Is this the best for laughs? Although you can't really beat Adele. You can't beat Adele. I do remember Jack saying to me, man, I don't look good on camera. He said that. I'm not making fun of him. He said that to me. Um, but, oh, he... Hey, hey. Minasan, konbanwa. Americano Jack. Yeah, yeah, look fine, Jack. This is just a quick video for me to um, tell you a little bit about how Japanese from Zero has been very uh, beneficial to my Japanese learning. Um, well, your accent was good, and I, that's not all on me, by the way. That's all on you. And... You could have done this all in Japanese, but it would have been pretty spectacular. But also to my life in general. I think the biggest impact is, is George himself. Hmm. George really goes the extra mile. He really um, gives you all the tools you need. And in some ways, there are tools that, despite this being his livelihood, this is his job, um, he will go the extra mile and say, hey, you find another YouTuber or another teacher that you think helps you, go do it. The term that I would use to describe George is and I hope I'm using this right. You can correct me, George. That is a baka shojiki. Stupidly honest. And that is kind of like a brutal honesty. Yeah. He's too honest to the point like it's a fault. He's. Th th I am told this a lot. And it comes off as abrasive. And um, believe it or not, you know, you don't know what you look like when you're speaking. And you, there's only a few times that I'm very aware of when I'm arguing with somebody and how forceful I am I don't realize that I'm doing it. I can't see myself and it's not a good thing sometimes it's a like I said I, I will tell people when I talk about them behind their back like for example tonight I talked about Ken but I'm gonna call him tomorrow and say hey by the way you better watch that video I talked about you not because I want him to watch the video because I want him to know what I said I wanted to know that I was talking about it it's probably all positive because uh I really enjoyed hanging out with Ken uh, but yeah baka uh, it's a very good term um, but that is something to respect in someone. And, um, it's, it's why George, you have me for the long haul. I can't wait to see what you do in the future. Damn it. I thought you were done after this video. I thought I was done with you, Jack. Congratulations on 100 videos for Japanese from zero. Like I said, I'm looking forward to the rest of it, uh, for your Thanks, man. So thanks guys. Have a good night and, um, keep studying. Jack, I really appreciate this video. I do agree with Melanie. This was a great video. Thank you. Let me know what's up with your Japan plans. I am actually curious. Uh, do you regret not going when you did not go? Uh, and do you think you're going to rectify that? Or is your career more important than a lifetime of memories and a cute Japanese girl? Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thank you for submitting the videos. To answer the people who are asking, when will we do this again? Uh, in another hundred videos, maybe. I, I am very random. See you guys next time. Thank you for coming. Bye.